Hi and welcome to Real Estate with Lou the Shoe. Today I'm going to talk to you about this right here. It's a two family that I had purchased back in June of 2020. And it was my first property ever. I bought it for $215,000. But more importantly, I use zero of my own money. Technically, it's about $550 out of pocket once you put everything together. But I got it for almost nothing out of pocket. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's the catch, Lou? Like, there must be a lot of different things that you have to do, a lot of hoops that you have to jump through in order to do something like this, right? And the answer to that is no, not really. There are a lot of different programs out there that you can use and utilize in order to do something like this. This particular program that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is called the Mass Housing Program. The Mass Housing Program is just in Massachusetts, but don't worry, Rhode Island residents. I know that there's a program that's very, very similar to this there are income requirements and there are credit requirements. So if you don't meet those particular requirements that you're not going to be able to qualify for this particular loan. But like I said, there are a few different ways that you can do something like this. So if you're interested in learning more about other stuff, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, and I will be uploading more videos shortly. Okay, so this mass housing program, what it is, is they have a down payment assistance program. So with the down payment assistance program, it's actually a fixed rate at 15 years for 2% interest. So let me read that back to you. So they can finance 15 years at 2% interest rate, which is like absolutely insane. It's almost pennies. So for illustration on my $215,000 two family, what I did was I used that financing to help me pay for that down payment. It ended up being $70 per month additional on top of my mortgage. So in other words, I get to keep $10,750, AKA the down payment in my pocket. And then I just pay $70 extra per month. Now I know not everybody would be comfortable paying an extra $70 per month, but if you get a property and something like this is a two family, so that way, it's actually being paid by the other tenants. In other words, I got a free property and somebody else is paying it for me. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty damn good to me. So that was the first part. The first part was the financing and the down payment. The second part of putting no money down and paying nothing for the property are the closing costs. So normally with a closing costs are anywhere from two to 3% depending on the type of loan that you have or the type of program. My closing costs would have been right around $7,000. I think it was a little under $7,000 actually. So what I did personally to prevent paying $7,000 worth of closing costs out of my pocket is that I negotiated the closing costs in with the purchase price of the property. For example, on my $215,000 property, the seller really only wanted $208,000. Because of the fact that he wanted $208,000, I offered him $215,000 with $7,000 back at closing. So in other words, he still got his $208,000, but I didn't have to come out with that $7,000 for closing. Instead, I was able to wrap that in with my mortgage. Now that particular mortgage with an extra $7,000 ended up being another $20 per month out of my pocket. So total with the two combined, it ends up being another $90. So that way I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. Now that is $90 per month that I have to pay that goes nowhere. So instead of paying that $17,000 in order to get into the home, I'm willing to pay $90 extra because I have tenants in there helping me pay down the mortgage. Now what I'm telling you is not for everybody, so I don't expect everybody to be able to do something like this or even want to do something like this. I only want people to do this that are comfortable to do stuff like this. And I wanted to show everybody that there's different ways to do different things, especially when it comes to something lucrative like real estate. So there you have it. That's how I bought this property right here for $215,000 and I put $0 out of pocket. There's many more to come and trust me, I'm still on the hunt. If you like this video, please smash the like and subscribe button and I will be sure to have more content coming. Thank you. Thank you.